Hey guys, I'm Aaron. And I'm Andrew. And we are Aaron, Aaron Inch Inch Productions. Productions. And today we have an extremely special video for you guys. We're going to be talking about our newest addition to the family. Um, I'm sorry it's been so long since we've got a new video up. We've been extremely busy lately, but we wanted to create a new video for you guys. So yeah, let's get right into it. So if you guys are wondering why we have two doggies on our laps right now, it's actually because we only normally have two of us, but now we have four of us, and this is actually our newest addition to our family. Her name is Molly. And um, this is Sunshine over here, and we've had her for about eight years. Eight years, yep. And we got her when she was a puppy, but... Um, so we're going to explain to you guys exactly why we got Molly and how we got Molly, and we'll get right into that right now. Okay, so about eight years ago on Halloween, we got Sunshine, and Sunshine has been an awesome addition to our family. We love her. She's so sweet, has like an awesome personality, like sweet to kids, sweet to everybody. So we love Sunshine. But the problem was when we got her, Andrew was extreme, extremely little and he was only like four years old. So like the things that you don't do to a dog, he really didn't comprehend yet. Like the fact of stepping on her paw or, you know, pulling her tail every <laughs> once in a while. Yeah. Like it wasn't like under... it, it was things that like, like, like now I just know like, like not, not animal not abuse. That. Okay. He wasn't like abusing her. It's just like a little kids think completely different than they would if they were a and, little bit and older. It wasn't even like that too. It was just like I didn't show her probably as much as like love and affection as he did because he was kind of right. older and he like understood it more and stuff. So I just kind of, you know, so, would see her every once right. in a while. But he showed the main affection to her. So Sunshine loves Andrew. She loves me. But the problem was like I'm her favorite. So he wanted a dog that, you know, when she wanted to sit with somebody, she would come sit on his lap. And, you know, just like a dog that truly loved him or an animal that truly loved him. So um, our parents were like, we already got a dog, like you already had a chance with this dog, we really don't want to get another dog at this moment right now. So we tried goldfish, um, that was the first one, if you want to go ahead and we had, elaborate on that. We had about three or four goldfish, and um, I took care of them, and um, as they started, like I kept, I had them for a while, um, it was probably the longest that we've had goldfish last before, but um, I had like all the way down to the one I had for like eight months, which is pretty good for just a goldfish, like a little goldfish, but um, so I had four of them, but they died and stuff, so, but then after that I was like, well, I really don't want any more goldfish, just because it's like, it's just not the same, they're still great, like they're really great, it's just not the same that I like wanted, I wanted like something that like, you know, I could pet and play with and have fun with and stuff like that, so, so I was kind of done with goldfish. So, Andrew came to the conclusion, like, what's the next best thing to a puppy that you can hold, you can play with, but it isn't, like, another dog that we have to take care of at the time. So, Andrew came to the conclusion that he wanted a hamster. Um, so, he came home. The, they came home. They were shopping for my birthday. My dad had taken them to a pet shop, and they looked at hamsters. Um, not was, for you. It, not but for me, but for him. Like, it was the yeah, night before so. my birthday, so they had stopped at the pet shop and looked at hamsters for Andrew, and... Andrew fell in love with a hamster. He wanted a hamster, like, extremely bad. So, here's where the convincing happened. For another, what was it, year? Yeah, a year. Yeah, about For another year, he talked about a hamster nonstop, wanting a hamster. So, he got a hamster um, on Christmas. This was last year. Last year, yeah, last yeah, year I he got, got a hamster. I got, um, I got a hamster and um, insert a photo of the hamster right yeah, here. Yeah, well, insert a picture of Buttercup was the hamster's yeah, name. Yeah, Buttercup. So, so, he got Buttercup on Christmas. And exactly... And I was so excited because yeah. I was so thrilled and it was so great. But then I kind of came to reality that a hamster is a mouse and a rodent. And it's a little different than I thought it would end up like. So I'm going to tell you guys basically what it would do. So we'll get into that. So we went searching for this hamster, this perfect hamster for Andrew, one one that was cute. We found the perfect one that we thought was perfect, and it was a sweet hamster, at least from what we knew. I mean, we've never had rodents before. So we bought this hamster, and it was sweet. We were able to hold it, like, no problems. My dad even had it in his pocket once. So, like, we had this hamster, and originally, like, our mom was like, no, we're not getting hamster at all. So we had this hamster for Andrew. And everybody's cool with it. We were excited to give it to him on Christmas morning. And then you can explain what happened after that. Okay, so for the first five, six days, it was all fine and dandy. It was all great. But then I kind of found out that a hamster is a little different than what I thought it was. Um, this hamster that we got was actually, I think it was a... Um, 
Assyrian? Yeah, Assyrian, Assyrian hamster? Was, Maybe it was Assyrian. a dwarf. I'm not sure. I it think it was like dwarf, it was I think it was like a Syrian hamster, a really cute hamster. Um, but it was like it was like kind of um, it was biting me. So basically, every time I'd go in there to see him or take him out, he'd bite me. And it's not like it hurt super bad. It was just like the fact that you just don't want to be bit every single time. Like, you hold him and stuff. And I'm sure you could train him, but I just, we didn't really know how to do that and everything. And part of that came and from the fact that they were... he was, um, he was nocturnal. Right, yeah. So, I don't know if they all are, but this hamster, he was nocturnal. So, he, all night long, he would spin on his wheel, and we'd hear the wheel spinning. And then, um, you know, we'd oil it with coconut oil and stuff, and then it would wear off, and you could hear it spinning again. And then, you know, he'd just, you know be sleeping all day long. So when I'd go to wake him up to play with them in the daytime, well, I'd get bit. So, Cause um, I Because hamsters, kinda, you know, don't want their beauty sleep interrupted, apparently. Yeah, I probably know. wouldn't either, but, so, he was nocturnal, so it just kind of didn't work out. So, um, we ended up actually, after about three weeks, we took him back to the pet store. And it was, in the, this is the funny part, it was exactly one year, like, to the day, from the day he came home wanting a hamster to the day that he took the hamster back to the pet store. Rest yeah. in peace, Buttercup. He probably got fed to a snake. No, I don't think so. No animals were hurt in the filming of this video. But, um, <laughs> but, uh, so what we did was is we took it, um, back to the pet store and we basically just said, you know, I'm sure it's good for someone. We just really don't have the time to, like, you know, deal with all that and, like, not be able to mess with it and stuff so we took it back to the pet store and they said they'd resell him. so that was good we just didn't want to make we just wanted to make sure that he didn't get you know as snake bait or something for some snake in some cage or something but basically um they said they'd resell him so that was good yep. so so that worked out did. good yep so this is what brings us to the part of getting molly so we took the hamster back like that was all done but Andrew still wanted, like, that animal that would, like, really love him, like, be his best friend, you know, so, um, fast forward, let's see, till October of this year, and, um, we, a really good friend called us up, and they're like, hey, you know, we have this, we ha I have two puppies, she had bought them, and she was actually going through a move at the time, and she couldn't take care of both of them, so, she was like, hey, would you guys take one of them, and, you know, um, where we visit in Florida sometimes, she's gonna move down to Florida, in that area that we visit sometimes so it would work out great because we can bring the dogs back and the, it, the sisters can visit and things like that so it's gonna work out great so Andrew got Molly we went down to pick her up and he was just thrilled Molly is like the perfect dog for him and yeah, yeah so um, she really um, I really like her and I think she likes me so it seems like it so uh, um, she likes you um, we first day we got home uh, Andrew left and after he left, she barked literally the whole entire time he was gone because she wanted him to come back. So we've worked through that. She's not like doing that anymore, but you know she really does love Andrew, and that's like exactly what he wanted. Yeah. So she's really cute too and adorable. So um, we just wanted to introduce Molly to you guys and um, just post a video and so you guys can kind of know what's going on. And Molly can do something special. Yeah. Okay. So we'll insert a clip of her doing this right now. Here in she's just gonna a do it right now. Okay. Okay, actually, we'll just do it right now. Yeah, we'll just do it live right now. right now. Okay, Molly, Molly, can you sing, Molly? Yay, Molly. Sing, Molly, yay! Yay, yay. Oh. sing! Yay! Yay, no. sing, Molly, yay! No. Yay, no. sing! No. Sing, yay! No. Yay! No. Sing, yay! No. Good girl. So Molly Good has girl, an Molly. ability that she's able to sing, so Andrew especially enjoys that because <laughs> they can make music sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. You just need to come up with a beat. Yep. Not beatbox. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to wrap it up for this video. As always, this, this was Aaron Introduction, introduction signing, signing off. off. See you guys in the next one. If you guys like this video, hit that like button down below. Also, comment. And subscribe to see more great future videos. See you in the next one. You got one life to live, don't let it